Welcome to the Interact Tracking Tool training session. The session will be on reviewing the item summaries worksheet. My name is Dinah Bones, and I'm a project coordinator here at Healthcare Quality Strategies Incorporated. Um, in this um, session, you're going to learn how to review the automatically produced reports. Um, we're going to get to see the admissions by day of week, um, sources of the admissions, um, admissions by health plan, transfers by time of day, clinician, and outcome, as well as transfers by signs and symptoms, as well as diagnoses or presumed diagnoses. Um, just a note for printing, um, reports have been automatically set up to print one report per page. So that's a very nice feature. I'm going to pop out of um, the PowerPoint, and I'm going to go into Excel here. We're going to look at the item summaries. As you can see up here in the top menu line here, we are in the item summary sheet. First thing to um, keep in mind is that these um, admission details here are year to date. So as you put in uh, more information throughout the year, uh, it's going to be adjusting all the different, um, uh, different reports in here. Um, so you have... Um, different uh, charts here, and each chart, if you scroll below it, will also provide you with the data for that particular chart. So I'm going to scroll back up. You have admissions by day of week. In our case, you see that we're fairly consistent, um, and there is no particular day we're getting um, more or less patients. Um, you see here sources of admission. Um, these are the different hospitals, home, or any other place that you might be getting your residents from. Also, Intrad does calculate for you not recorded. So in this case, this would alert me to going back to the um, admit with recent discharge sheet to make sure that perhaps I missed something. Um, so every single time that you see this not recorded, it's a note to you to check that maybe you missed something in your data entry. We're going to scroll over, and here is the admissions by health plan um, chart here. Um, happens to be for us that dental HMO is the most popular um, plan. We're going to scroll back to the beginning and scroll down to some of the other reports. So transfers by time of day. Again, these were the morning, afternoon, evening, night, and not recorded is in every single one of these. Um, you also have transfers by clinicians, as well as transfers by outcomes. And these are your ED um, versus inpatient, um, admitted with observation, and so on. The one thing that I do want you to keep in mind is that these are separate and individual charts. So the data is not necessarily linked um, from one type of criteria to the other type of criteria. So we do see that Dr. White is um, the physician who is ordering the most amount of transfers. And we also see that um, mornings are when most of our transfers are occurring. However, it does not necessarily mean that Dr. White is making all these transfers in the morning. These are two separate and distinct um, bits of data. So you can look at it just by transfers, and that's in separate and independent um, data here. And it's separate and independent when you're looking at the clinicians. Um, so if we continue scrolling down, um, here is where it gives you transfers by signs and symptoms. Um, you can see the breakdown of which are the uh, most likely um, to cause some of your transfers. And again, it includes a chart with the numbers and percentages. And the final item here is the transfers by diagnosis or presumed diagnosis. Um, again, similar to the previous chart, where it does indicate which ones are the um, most likely to be causing those transfers. And you've got the um, data table, sorry about that, um, data table um, with the um, information by percentage as well as the count. So that covers the item summaries uh, worksheet. I'm going to say thank you very much for attending. 
And if you have any questions, um, here is my contact information. Thank you very much.